Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Vince. I live outside of Portland, Oregon. I'm 49 year old male. Uh, live in a small suburb called Hillsboro. Um, it's probably about 10, 15 miles from Portland. And I'm here to basically show off my Ouija board collection. Um, it's kind of an odd thing to be collecting them, right? Um, most people run the other way when they hear the word Ouija board or, uh, you know, especially if a collection of them, but, uh, I don't know, they've just always been very inter interesting thing to me. I've always been into the paranormal thing. Um, I do a lot of paranormal research. Um, I recently got some amazing pics down in uh, Grants Pass, Oregon. It took me probably, I don't know, close to 10,000 pictures just to get a couple legit pics, um, in my friend's mom's house, a uh, 92 year old house and just got, you know, there's just a ton of huge, huge, huge amount of activity there. You know, I've gotten these huge uh, green and blue spirit orbs, which I know are orbs, real orbs, because I study them a lot. Um, um, I have a quite a bit of knowledge of the paranormal field. Um, I do most of my investigating in solo by myself, which can definitely be creepy sometimes, for sure. Um, even up here in the room, late at night, it can just be creepy, you know. Um, I don't use the boards very often, honestly. Just here and there, just kind of rare when I, it's pretty rare when I use them. Um, so, uh, right behind the board, you see some of the trinkets I have on the windowsill and I've got some so-called haunted items from eBay that I purchased. That's my kind of seance table there. Um, but, uh, just want to go over the boards here with you and, you know, I know some people are into them. I know Ouija board fat has kind of came back big time. Um, just want to give you a little, you know, a little breakdown of what I got here. Um, I've been collecting probably, I don't know, close to a year. Um, it's not like I buy them all the time. Don't have a lot of money, but, uh, you know, I win them on eBay. I bid on them every once in a while. I buy them and as you'll see way over here to the right, I make them, <laughs> uh, I'm not that great at it, but you know, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cover the boards here. Um, I don't like to zoom in too much. My camera kind of makes things blurry, but, uh, we'll do it anyways, just to show you guys. The first one on the left here you see is from the 1960s. It is the William Fold. F-U-L-D. This is the Baltimore, Maryland edition Ouija board. Um, you know, just basically your basic Ouija board. But this is a large board right here. So you can see it's larger than pretty much every one except for the homemade one right there I made. Um, it's, uh, I believe, 15 by 18 inches, which doesn't sound like big, but it's big for a Ouija board. So this is the 1960s. So, you know, this board is probably like 55. Close, to, actually, I don't know, close to 60 years old, something like that. Um, I've used it here and there. I, I really don't have a whole lot of luck when it comes to making contact with things. I don't know what it is, but you know, the spirits talk when they want to talk. Sometimes it doesn't work for people. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the Ouija boards don't work for everybody. They work for one person the next person will buy one and say, ah, oh, man, these things don't work, you know, but you know, it's practice, patience, um, meditation, a clear mind. It takes a lot of different things. So anyways, you know, this one was really great because it came with the, you know, the original planchette, as you see down there, the pointer. Um, it actually even has the pin inside of it, too, inside the oracle, the eye, window, whatever you want to call it. So, anyways, that's the 1960s William Fold one. The box is really beat up, but go figure. It's really old. The board is in great condition, actually. Um, I don't want to spend time flipping everything over here because my, I don't want, you know, I don't like, I only have about nine and a half minutes on my camera, and I want to try to get this all done in one, one deal, you know. I'm not very good at editing my stuff. So, uh, so anyways, that's the 60s William Fold one from Baltimore, Maryland. We're going to move over here to the next one. This is one I got online to on eBay. It's a Cosmo, Cosmo Bryant. Um, they have a bunch of them, you know, different designs. This is a, this is a wizard board, as you see there. Um, this is from 2011. And there's a planchette that it comes with, the pointer. Kind of a cool one, kind of Aztec looking-ish um, symbols. There's a little bag that comes with it. Uh, anyways, we're gonna. Um, I do want to show you the back of this one because it's really cool, actually. I'm gonna flip it over. It comes all signed, you know, all the official everything on it. Um, they they sell these online. I forgot what I paid for it, twenty some dollars or something. But you know, it has all the you know official stickers and everything, production stuff they put on it, and talks about the spirit board and everything. So let me zoom out. I don't have the best cam here. It's great for what I do, though. We'll go ahead and turn that back over. That's the wizard board there for you. So we'll go ahead and move over here to another one. This is the Parker Brothers one. 
And um, it is not William Fuller, I don't believe. <laughs> Some of these can be confusing, but anyways. Uh, this is from 1992. It's the Parker Brothers board. And it also, I've been really lucky with getting them with the planchette too, the pointer. Um, this one actually has the plastic pin in it, so this one's complete, you know, and the board's in really great shape. Um, so that was a nice find, you know. A lot of times you get these old boards and they're missing the planchette or they're missing the pin or they're missing the window. But I try to, you know, when I buy them, try to find, you know, the complete deal. Of course, you want everything. So that's the top three there. I don't have a lot. I have like six boards, but I um, just like to share this kind of stuff with people who are into it. Moving down here, we have the glow-in-the-dark one. That's very popular with a lot of people. That's the one with the, the Toys R Us board, you know. Go to your local Toys R Us, and that's the one you'll see. And they actually have another one out now that has batteries in the planchette, believe it or not. I don't agree on that because it kind of weighs the planchette down. I don't know uh, how it can move around, you know, on its own with battery pack in it. But anyways, I forgot the color of that one. It's like yellow or something. But they actually sell the one I'm talking about with the batteries in the planchette because it lights the planchette up so you can see at night. Kind of interesting. I, w I will definitely purchase that one probably here uh, soon since you can just go to the store and buy it. I don't have to order it and wait for it to be shipped. This is the one right here anyways. This is your glow-in-the-dark board. Here's your glow-in-the-dark planchette, um, the box, little instruction booklet. Uh, this is from 1998 where they started producing these, I believe. So anyways, uh, there's your glow-in-the-dark one. And it's cool, you know. It's it stays probably lit for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes after you put it under a light. And, you know, the board turns green basically, the planchette turns green at night when you're using it, when it glows. Um, you see a lot of these on eBay that people say that these are really haunted bad ones, you know, with bad things come from these, but in my opinion, a board is a board. It depends on the spirit, it depends on the person. So anyways, we're going to move over real quick and cover this rest of these real fast. This is the smaller version of this one over here, okay, but... The one up there to the left, the big board, the 15 by 18, is from Baltimore, Maryland, William Fold. This one here is the Salem, Massachusetts one, the one I've been really wanting to get. And it came a lot smaller than I thought it was. You know, it's your basic size board. You know, I figured it was going to be big like the one up here, but it just doesn't work that way. But they're both from the 60s, I'm almost positive. Um, sometimes it's hard to find out exactly what year they were produced. Anyways, this is a really good complete one too. Um, there's the planchette. You know, it's missing the little pin inside. There's a pin in the center. It almost looks like a nail. It's missing the planchette, but you know, it's cool. It's old. It's what I wanted. So anyways, we're going to move over here finally to the one board I made. This is a big board. It's 24 by 24 inches. I made this all myself and I used colored marker actually. I didn't use paint. Um, it's a piece of red oak that I ordered from Home Depot through UPS. Um, it's three quarter inch thick red oak. Uh, red oak, oak is actually one of the densest wood there is. Um, the denser it is, the more energy it's supposed to hold. And it took me a long time to, to, to make this little by little. I did this board. Um, there's a lot of ruins right there. All those ruins mean something, you know. Usually they all mean, mean something good. Most of them don't want to put any negative stuff on there. But all those good, you know, prosperity, uh, protection. Each of those runes are like from the Norse symbols. They all have meanings. So anyways, this is my big board I made. It's 24 inches by 24. I wanted a big board. I got tired of the small ones. Here's a planchette I bought online. It's basically made by a medium, I believe. Um, it's a custom-made planchette. And it's really cool. It has the felt. Things. I actually took these felt things from that brick right here you see on the left. So anyways, <laughs> and I added them on there because there was so much felt on the brick. Anyways, that's my Ouija collection. Um, you know, and I just wanted to make a video for you guys. Just kind of give you a little breakdown of what I have here. And I plan on collecting a lot more. Anyways, I love the paranormal. And I love everything about it. They're just shot on my table. See ya.